In this video, I'm going to talk about deshielding and chemical shift in NMR. And I'm going to be speaking specifically about proton NMR or hydrogen NMR, but this concept applies to carbon NMR as well. In a molecule, the nuclei are shielded from the NMR's magnet by their electron density. Remember that in NMR, we are placing our molecules, our nuclei, into the magnetic field of the NMR. And because they have this layer of electron density around the nucleus, that electron density helps to shield or protect the nucleus from the strength of the NMR's magnet. If there are electronegative atoms in the molecule, they act to de-shield the nuclei within the molecule. Because electronegative atom, atoms pull electron density towards themselves, they're pulling electron density away from the shield around our nuclei. De-shielding causes the NMR peaks associated with any given hydrogen atom to shift to the left, away from the zero point in the NMR spectrum. So if we're looking at an NMR spectrum, the peaks that are on the right-hand side are peaks associated with atoms that are very shielded, and the peaks that are on the right-hand side are associated with atoms that are deshielded. Or another way of phrasing this, the peaks on the right-hand side are associated with atoms that are not near or they are far from electronegative atoms. Maybe there aren't any electronegative atoms in the molecule at all. And the peaks that show up on the left-hand side, these are peaks associated with atoms that are near electronegative atoms. So if we look at this particular molecule as an example, and we want to try to predict the relative position of the peaks in the NMR spectrum, the proton NMR spectrum for this particular molecule, all that we're looking at is how close or how far away the different hydrogen atoms are from the electronegative atom in this molecule. This molecule has only one electronegative atom, the oxygen. The hydrogen that is closest to that oxygen is going to be the hydrogen that is the most deshielded. This hydrogen, because it's close proximity to the oxygen, the electronegative negativity of the oxygen is going to have the greatest impact on this particular hydrogen because of its proximity. And that means that the peak associated with this particular hydrogen atom is going to be the most deshielded, or it is going to be, for this molecule, it is going to be the furthest to the left in the spectrum. The hydrogen atoms on this carbon atom are the next closest to the electronegative oxygen atom, which means that they will be deshielded as well. They will be, we say, shifted to the left, but not quite as far as the, the shift for this particular hydrogen. These hydrogens out here, which are the furthest away from the oxygen atom in this molecule, these hydrogen atoms, we say, are the most shielded, and these hydrogen atoms will be the furthest to the right. Again, this is because they are the farthest away from the electronegative oxygen, which means that they won't be experiencing a lot of deshielding, and they will be the furthest on the right-hand side. And again, with these hydrogen atoms, they'll just be somewhere, their peak will be somewhere in between the peak for these um, furthest to the left and furthest to the right. Let's take a look at this molecule right here with um, its NMR spectrum is being shown down below. And let's try to assign the location of the three different peaks um, of the three different types of hydrogens in this molecule. So as we've already gone over, this molecule has three different types of hydrogens. This is one type right here. This is a second type right here. And this is the third type right here. And we have three different peaks in the NMR spectrum. We can actually match up the type of hydrogen to each particular peak based completely on our prediction for shielding and deshielding. If we look at our electronegative atoms, we have two of them, two oxygen atoms in this molecule. And we're just looking at the proximity of the hydrogen atoms to these oxygen atoms. These hydrogen atoms on this carbon right here are very close to the oxygen atoms. This hydrogen atom, as well as this hydrogen atom, they are both one, two bonds away from an oxygen atom. That makes them very, very close. So these hydrogen atoms are going to be the most deshielded in this molecule, and they will be creating this peak that we see here right around four. 
On the other side of our oxygens, these hydrogens over here, they are one, two, three bonds away, one, two, three bonds away from the oxygen atom. So they are pretty de-shielded as well. Not quite as much as these ones, but they are going to be the next most shifted peak. The hydrogen atoms out here are one, two, three bonds away from one oxygen, which is the same as what we have over here, but they are one, two, three, four, five bonds away from the other. So these hydrogen atoms, they are one, two, three, and one, two, three bonds away from both oxygens. One, one two, three, four, five for these ones here. So these are gonna be the most shielded out of all the hydrogens and we'll be generating this peak right here.